We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition. Nate Evaldi, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. One ball, one strike to count. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Martinez has a read on it. He's got it one away. That second. The third base. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there 1 0. Evaldi is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like. He's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. Dahlbeck takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. So stepping in, Jose Iglesias. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Wade LeBlanc, the Louisiana-born left-hander, will get the start on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start. Oh, way to get dirty. Touche, sir. Striding into the box, Kevin Pillar. And he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Hayes on the run for it. He can't get there as it falls in. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows great reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. In there, now the throw. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Now the 0-1. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to... And a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. Boy, when teams are playing well like this team is on a nice little winning streak right here, they strike early in this one to keep the mojo working. Yeah, Dan, from an offensive standpoint, everyone searches for confidence, and that's exactly what they have right now. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. I'm not sure what else the defense could have done there. They pitched out and the throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't cut him down. You kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. A man at third with one away. Drilled to the left side. And that is through into left field. A base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. Well, d you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. The 0-1 delivery. Runner goes for third. That's a strike to throw down. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. 
Now at the plate, Xander Bogart is currently fourth in the AL in RBIs, and he's got a chance to add to that total right here. Swing, and he rockets this one down the left field line. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. You always want to spot your pitcher a run or two early on, so he has a little bit of wiggle room, but that double... They're up 3 nothing and absolutely cruising. If this guy on the mound doesn't find a way to get... To oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Now the 1-0. Down the third baseline, Alberto fields it cleanly in the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. So frustrating, Nero. You make a good pitch, and you get these guys that can run around, and they're fast. You think you have an out, all of a sudden, it turns into an infield. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. One and no pitch on the way. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And it's off the green monster. Throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Well, this doesn't have the makings of a start he's going to be proud of, does it? He's getting absolutely pounded here in the first inning. And I would think they're not going to let this go on for much longer. Now here comes the Oriole manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is coming here, and that's going to do it for Wade LeBlanc. So, boy, that ERA is going to take a bit of a tumble here as he gets cuffed around pretty good and winds up not being able to survive the first. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Santander is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nine men come to the plate, however. New inning set to get underway. Into the box now, Renato Nunez. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Well, today's game provides the Red Sox with the chance to complete a series sweep, guys. And you can see why this team is in first place in the division. A solid ball club with good hitting and good pitching. And it's always key when you're playing interdivision squads. Fouled off. Another 0-2 home. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Pilar is there now, and he has it two gone. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Santander. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. They may be hard-pressed to get the same sort of performance on the mound that they got yesterday, a complete game shutout, but something close would certainly give them a chance to complete a sweep. You don't see it very often. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that... One, two, three, go the Orioles. Need to get it going soon. It's five, nothing. Here's Mookie Betts. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. A bouncer to the left side, right to Iglesias. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Into the box now, Kevin Pillar. 
He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Hit hard on the ground to third. And in the left field for a one out hit. Chalk up another multi hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Digging in, David Ortiz. He reached on a single in his first try. Line drive to left. Santander is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Here's J.D. Martinez looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Clearly, they're not satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead, and now they've got a chance to add on to it. Smoked on the ground left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Now back. The third base Dever. Here now is Rafael Devers. Strike taken to throw. Oh, and the throw's wide as it gets by him at second. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Here's the 0 1 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now that the good stop. Here's good. Xander Bogarts now. There goes the runner. Strike called. Now the throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's... Devers at third with two away. Hit on the ground out to short. Iglesias is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is... So two runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on base. Austin Hayes the next to bat. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now this is foul tipped at home plate and that might have shot directly at our home plate umpire because he's moving a little gingerly back there. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The Bo Sox had a lot of success at the plate yesterday. A double digit hit total as a team so they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. One of the keys to sweeping a series is getting some runs and getting some runs early. Big lead early in this one and it looks like their chances of a sweep look pretty good. Fouled away. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Chris Davis is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes a swing and a miss? That retires the side, and that will do it. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. 
They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Maddie. Either they have a ton of respect for the man. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not at... No. The 1-1. One, one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Davis is there, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting. Now in the box, Fudge Rodriguez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Hayes on the run for it, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Yeah, and he's the type of player that's thinking triple as soon as he hit it to the outfield. Pretty elite speed on display here as he rockets around second. Would have taken a perfect play and relay to even have a chance to throw him out here. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Ball five. He's going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Your attention, please. Runners off for second. In there. Now the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. One out and a runner on second base. Runner breaks for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. A pause and the 0-2. And it's fouled away. Fry, a 27-year-old, he was a 17th round pick back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the number league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater. And Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. The relay throw, and he's safe. That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hand back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. He's one for two in this one. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Men on third with two down. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. Two home runs in three days. I'd say he's seeing the ball pretty well right now. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. Tanner Scott is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. To the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning.
Beginning here is seven runs across the plate, and this lead grows even wider. Stepping in, Ramon Urias. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that is. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. And he fouls this one off. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, guys, that's a great job of hitting right there. Pitcher executes his pitch down and away below the knees, and a right-handed batter is able to stay inside and push it through the 3-4 hole. Nothing you can do. Fouled off. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. On the move is Pilar. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And here's Renato Nunez. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 and 0 the count. From the stretch. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Fouled away. Again, a 1-2. Hit sharply on the ground. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Michael Chavis. He got under one and popped out his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall, and he's looking really good in this one. And the runner's breaking for third. Strike taken, the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Runner at third here, nobody out. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. At the plate, Mookie Betts. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's hitting 429. He's taken him deep once. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. A ball and two strikes now. Drilled on the ground is short. Iglesias is up with it. On to first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Count is one and two now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now with the plate, now Austin Hayes. 
spin. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And it's gone into the monster seats. Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo the shot, they've stopped off. digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, the pitcher can claim that that one slipped all he wants, but that looked intentional to me. He goes with the heater up and in and absolutely drills him. That's dangerous, and I'm surprised that the ump appears to be letting it go. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Swings through it for strike number two. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. One hit, no errors, and a man left. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Well, Next up Red for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Weak rounder back to the mound. And there's one down now. Now batting. Now at the plate, J.D. Martinez. He's two for three and looking for more here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. On to Lansdowne and gone. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, Dero. The hitters on point, the pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. And now they've got him in a rundown. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. He's set, and the pitch. Xander Bogarts is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And it bangs off the monster. Around second now and headed for third. And now gracious, just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Well, if he wants to hit for the cycle and get in the history books, he's got the hardest three parts of it out of the way. Normally, this is the toughest leg to get, but he stands at third and now only needs a single to make some history. Stepping in now, Bobby Dahlbeck. And it's fouled away. So far, two for three in this one. From the stretch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. And Hayes will make the catch. This side is retired. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ramon Urias. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Drill to the right side. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Betts has a read on it, one out. The bat, number 11. From the stretch, Jose Iglesias is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. 
hit down the line at first. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Bet's coming on. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One run, four hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1 and 2. And he fouls this one off. Another 1 2 delivery. Still a ball and two strikes. Fouled off. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Michael Givens is going to get the call in something of a surprising move here as they're bringing in their closer in the sixth inning. Michael. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Oh, and one, here it comes. Belted high in the air out to left. Santander on the run. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season as they just continue to pour it on here. Pudge Rodriguez. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Santander is underneath this one, and he's got it for the first down. The bat, the right fielder, Mookie. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first. High and deep to left center field. Racing back the left fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run there for Mookie. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as this lead got even wider. The center fielder, number five. And now Kevin Pillar. Kevin. As he'll swing and oh, pop it in oh. the air right near home plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Number 34. Ready for another shot now. David Ortiz is doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Dwight Smith Jr. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. High and deep to straightaway right. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Anthony Santander the next to bat. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. In there, one and one. Just a tick behind for a strike. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Oh, Anthony cool. Santander goes down for the first out in the seventh hey. inning. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. 
Now to the plate, Austin wins. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So one run here on one hit, which was the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Sean Armstrong comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. First pitch on its way, fouled away. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Yeah, Matty B. Well, D-Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at the way. Yeah, change. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back-to-back -back home run. It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers. He creeps closer now, his 71st on the season as the blowout continues. The batter, number two. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. And it's grounded just foul down the line. And he bats here only a single shy, the easiest of them all, to complete the cycle. Here comes the 0-1. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying to deep left. And that is off the wall. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he is in to third with his fourth hit of the ball game. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Richard Blyer enters now in a mop-up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! The designated hitter. So here's Michael Chavis now. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander waits on it. And that's the first out of the inning. At the plate, Buds Rodriguez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Boy, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and he's able to get that one to left field. And it is not in time as Pudge able to turn back the clock and steal a base here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Four runs here in this half inning. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Santander is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. 
now battle. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Pillar. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. A one pitch on its way. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. Here's Chris Davis now. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Devers fields it cleanly, and he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. Hold on here, though. That was really a close play, so they're checking to see if they want to challenge that safe call. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. Standing in now, Ramon Urias. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. And that misses one and one. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They're all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep. And it looks pretty good at this point. And there are two away now. The battle. Now at the plate, Jose Iglesias. He flew out in his last at bat. In there for strike one. Two runs, six hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. On, he pops it up. Dawback onto the grass. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Orioles leave one. And they remain well, well behind. So digging in now, David Ortiz. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 55 on the campaign as they just continue to pour it on here. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And he will not make the play. It's off his glove. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Pitch outside, the throw. It's wide, and he's in there with the stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Grounded back up the middle in to score the runner from third. Yeah, man, hard to stay focused on the game when the score is this far out of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. That's a strike to throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The 0-1 pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game as this lead got even wider. Now back, second baseman. Into the box now, Bobby Dalbeck. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Working on a good line in this ball game, three for five thus far. 
Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Santander on the run. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And they'll keep the pressure on here. He's in with a triple. Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Smoke toward third. Alberto has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now that Stepping up now, Fudge Rodriguez. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard on the ground to short. Right to Iglesias. Throw will be to first for the second out, but meanwhile, another run is in to score. Striding in for Boston, Mookie Betts. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. Out in front of it, strike one. Rounded down the third baseline. Alberto gloves it. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Renato Nunez. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at-bat. One ball, no strikes to count. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The 1-1. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls in one strike. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Struck him out, and the Red Sox sweep the series and continue to set the pace in the division. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this